We are at Gateway to Science. Hope Rodowski's joining us, and we love to come here. Oh, so many different exhibits, Hope, and this one's fun. This is, I guess, uh, I'm going to say bigger than normal Legos, but we're making yes. life on Mars. Exactly. So um, a couple of months ago, we had talked about going back to the moon with our International Observe the Moon Night, and this is pushing it even further and going to the later phases of Artemis project mm -hmm. and we are establishing a Martian habitat and okay. so we need a place to live when we're on Mars of and course. so people get to choose how they want to build their house and there are different types of blocks that are different colors that will allow us to either thrive and survive okay and so we have some survive blocks these are our white ones and so it's like water and food and oxygen and then there are other things that we can add like I guess painting a construction or, or construction. workout a gym Exactly. We need the workout. Pumps exactly. We need to be well rounded. And so uh -huh. with this one, we can have people be as creative as they would like to be, and they get to build their own Martian habitat. Well, we're going to do a penthouse on, the, on oh, Mars. Yeah. Let <laughs> me get a two penthouse one, a double decker. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, what's the white one? Oh, this the white is ones one are of the our survive symbols. Uh, so we have a little garden here. Yeah, and then we'll give okay. some water there too. Yeah. <laughs> and so there's no right or wrong, per se, in this exactly. example, but it's good for a kid to put in perspective, hey, we need the bathroom, we need exactly. a kitchen, we need a garbage, uh, a landfill, I guess. Exactly. And so it makes so many... them think a little bit yeah. deeper about the things that we have readily available here on Earth that we might need to really think mm -hmm. about when we're on a different planet. The problem is, when's the race to space? That's the problem. We're hoping <laughs> we need... within yeah. the next 10 years yeah. we'll be on Mars. I think they'll so. do it. They'll... They're so. moving fast. All right, one more block, <laughs> and then we'll go to this off. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Now, Kay. this one is one of our staples that we've had for quite some time. It shows off different types types of light. And so looking here, it is infrared light. Mm -hmm. And with this block, you can't really see much, but as we put it underneath and look at our screen, mm -hmm. it is starting to show us that there's people in this corner right here, mm -hmm. but we can't see them when it's without it. Yep, you kind of think of it, because as a meteorologist, mm -hmm. I look at the infrared satellite all the time. I show that at night, because you can't see clouds with the exactly. visible. So kind of like that same concept. Exactly. And we say that on air all the time. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And then this one is our magnification, and so it just makes it bigger. And then oh. when you look through here, it'll show the words in larger size. It's like using a magnifying yeah. glass or a microscope. There it is. Um, what would you name a newly discovered planet? Ooh, is that's what a it good says. question. Ooh. What would you name a new planet? I don't know. <laughs> Something. <laughs> <laughs> For weirdly enough, the word charming's coming to Ooh, my head. Ooh, I like it. Lee Ellison, I think. I think that's perfect. <laughs> now, this one is looking at our ultraviolet light, and uh -huh. we'll press this light here. And this one is oh, also fun. great for weather because yep. with UV radiation, that's what we receive from the sun. And so it's great to keep in mind, this is what we're receiving from the sun. And we can actually see it change the things mm -hmm. on the blocks. And then th these are the rays too that mm -hmm. will get you burned, exactly. right? Yep. So that's why you have to wear the sunscreen. Exactly. So, so if you see cool. this changing yep. colors and if you're outside, then that's when you have to put your sunscreen uh -huh. on. Uh-huh. Yep. So dangerous And then things. this last one is looking at magnetic fields. And so it'll start to move yeah. the magnetic materials in the block and start to show, show us a different image. Yeah, very cool. It goes from nothing to almost to a like a snake or a <laughs> galaxy that's probably expanding and we just mm -hmm. don't know the name of it. Very, very cool. <laughs> exactly. So many different things. And so this is the space area. Mm -hmm. There was a couple more that we're not going to get to today, yep. but you know, it, it's, a, it's so cool to see what a kid can do here at the Gateway to Science. Absolutely. So much. And this is just one little section. Mm -hmm. You have stuff over there. I know we, we have a really cool weather exhibit. Yes, and it's my favorite. Where you could be a meteorologist. So cool. We love to see kids in action for science, for absolutely. STEM. We absolutely do. And check out, too, the website. So many cool events happening for kids. Yes, we've got a lot adults. coming on. Yeah. <laughs> a lot coming right. up in the next month or so. So love keep it. an eye on our website and our Facebook page. Love that. Thanks, Hope. We absolutely. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Keep it here. More to come on North Dakota today.